This shoe is worth $6,000 and this shoe is worth $6,000. These were made for the Oregon Ducks and these were made for the Florida Gators. Now every sneakerhead wants to have rare and exclusive shoes in their collections, but sometimes it's just out of our budget. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some affordable options and we're gonna be taking some looks at some very rare and exclusive sneakers here at Untied. When the Supreme Dunk originally came out, everybody was loving this shoe, but it was a little bit too expensive for your everyday consumer. Shortly after that, we got the Panda Dunk right here, and these were a lot more affordable. Next thing you know, everybody had them on. So not only am I gonna be giving you guys alternate options from a very expensive shoe to a cheaper shoe, I'm actually gonna put my wife to the test and see if she can guess the prices. All right, how much do you think the Pandas are worth, and how much do you think the Supreme Dunks are worth? So obviously this is more Supreme collab. Um, I this is the most generic shoe on the market, so I'm gonna say it's probably pretty affordable. And they've released it a couple times, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm gonna say two two fifty. That is correct. Is that ready? Yep. On to okay. the next one. Cool, cool, cool. What do you think about the Supreme? Okay, Supreme. I really. I don't think that they, I feel like there's different colors of this. There's like a blue or a red or something, mm -hmm. or maybe both. It was like a um, pack of four. Yeah, it was like a, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say 500. 850. See, I don't know. Uh, like, this was kind of like an easy guess, cause yep. you know, I, I said the factors, but yeah, I didn't know about this. All right, Is so you get, we'll give you half a point for that one. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll take it. On to the next shoe. All right, how much do you think the lost and founds are worth, and how much do you think the trophy rooms are worth? 500. Five, 550, that's pretty close, yeah. Okay. What you know about these shoes? You know I know you things? like them. I know it's like a more affordable version of this. So what about the trophy rooms? This is expensive. I know this is expensive. It looks like money. Does it not? <laughs> um, I'm going to say 1,800. That is, yes. 1,800 is the number. Look at Did you me. look at the sheet? I didn't look at the sheet. Damn, you're doing good. All right, on to the next one. Okay. All right, we got the Mochas and the Travis Scotts. Very similar, but yes, very, very different. Yes, very similar. Um, I'm not gonna say never, but like, if I had to choose like paying for one of these, it would definitely be these ones because there's really not that big of a difference You would here. choose the Mocha? Yeah, because there's really not that big of a difference in, in color scheme. Like obviously the browns are different, the cream bottom, and like the little hits here and whatever, but it's because it's Travis Scott, you know? Okay. Um, so what's the price on the Mocha? It's a Jordan 1. They've been very popular over the last couple of years. I'm gonna say 800. A little high. That's like a little 600. high. 600, okay. Yeah. I don't get a point for that. No. What do you think about the Travis Scott? <laughs> I'm gonna say closer, definitely in the thousands range. Let's say, I'm gonna go for 18 on this one too. 1800, you are correct. Hey, let's go. <laughs> you got the color of the months, University Blues. Yes. And then you got the MCA. Off-White Air Force One. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you know that that one's more expensive. This is definitely more expensive, Off-White, and I'm sure it's probably gone up since Virgil's passing RIP. Um, so what do you think about the University Blue? Um, I'm gonna say these are probably not that expensive. For Air Force, it's probably like expensive for like four. 400? Yeah. They're actually like 150 bucks. They're like just over retail. Okay, that's way it's like cheaper than that. It's a very affordable it was shoe be. right now. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. sneaker. And the blue is like literally they're like very the same. similar. Yeah, almost. So, what the do you same. think about that compared to the off white? What do you think the price is on those? The off white is going to be in the thousands range. I would say closer to 2000. Try three. Three? <laughs> okay, but that makes sense though, because Virgil and everything. So. so, what do you think about the price difference between those two? Look, I think off white is awesome, especially, like I said, the value is going to go up. Um, am I paying $3,000 for this shoe? Nah. Because guess what? This shoe is $150. You're not even paying $150 for those. I know, but <laughs> you know what I mean though. Like, I, I would wear both shoes. I think this shoe is dope. Um, they have a green one of this. This which, is true. That's the one you want. That's, you know, All that's right, my color. on to the next shoe. We're out of here. So we just put her to the test with four different sneakers, the Pandas, the Chicago's, the Mocha's, and the University Blues. And honestly, she did pretty solid but I want to test her with the player exclusives, the real expensive shoes. These two shoes are very similar. Extremely similar, look at this. But a little bit different. There's, I mean, obviously the detail here is a little different, but I would say outside of that, it looks like the same shoe. And like uh, the, the O, 
This is the OVO? Oregon Ducks. Oh, it's Oregon Ducks? Yeah, okay. but I can see why you would think that with the okay. gold. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't, I don't know everything. All right, so the Olympic one on your left hand, how much do you think those are for the regular pair? Um, I'm going to go with five, 500. 300. See, what about now you? I'm just shooting too high. Affordable. It's affordable, Jordan. You know, yeah, those yeah. came out a while ago, but it's pretty affordable still. And if you want like a dupe for this, this is like... Basically the same shoe. It's basically the same shoe. So what do you think the price is on the PE? Well, it's a PE, so I know it's going to be expensive. Um, I'm going to say it's an Oregon PE. Hmm. I want to say either four or five thousand. I'm going to say four thousand. That's yep. That's right. Yeah. Because I feel like <laughs> you the really ones, be around these shoes too much. Yeah, but like the other ones, the like full green ones. Yeah. That like with with the suede and stuff, like I feel like those more. are going to be more expensive. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. You're doing solid. So you guys are probably wondering why that shoe is worth so much, but it looks so similar. These are actually made for the University of Oregon, which is called a PE or player edition, player exclusive, whatever you like to call it. Either way, it's a lot more rare and only made sometimes, you know, tens of pairs or maybe a couple hundred pair, depending on the shoe. And usually when there's less pairs, that means the price goes up. So we're gonna be showing you guys some good options as well when it comes to the player exclusives because I know everybody wants to get their hands on them. But at the same time, we gotta see what the affordable options that look really similar to those. So I'm ready to put her to the test and see if she can get these right. UNC4, general release, UNC4, player edition. Okay. The player edition came out before the general release did. Okay. Um, I imagine the value of this lowered once this came out, but it's still a hard find probably because it's still a PE. So yep. I feel like I heard you talk about this shoe. Uh, Loki need to add those to my collection. Yeah, I, I feel like I've heard you talk about this shoe. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 5,000. 8,000. Eight? <laughs> I don't be knowing, you know? Um, but I mean, the materials are nice, the suede's nice. So what do you think about those compared to the general release? How much do you think the general release is worth? General release, I'm gonna stick with a Koo 500. 500? Yeah. yeah, that's actually pretty close. Five, 550, somewhere around yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I get a point for this? Yep, so you got that one right. Cool, cool, but cool. But the PEU is definitely off. Yeah, it was definitely off. But <laughs> it's crazy the small differences and how much the price changes, you know, with like fluctuates between that because of it being a PE. Yep. But yeah. All right, on to the next one. So right here we have the Michigan 5. This is the player edition in your right hand and the general release in your left hand. Okay. Also, the one in your right hand. Yes. This is the more exclusive version of the Michigan 5, just so you know. Okay. And there's people outside going crazy right now. It's raining in LA. Yeah. People don't know how to act. Anyways. <laughs> What are your thoughts? Okay, Raise my thoughts. Raise the shoe so people can see. My thoughts. Sorry, I was trying to look at them side by side to see the big differences. There's obviously a big color difference here. Um, in the yellow and in the tongue and inside area. Um, price difference. I, I'm going to say, you said this is more exclusive. I'm going to say $9,000. 9000 Try fifteen. Fifteen thousand dollars $15,000? Those are very rare. So I'm what trying th to think of what I would like, like justify spending $15,000 on Those. to wear. Those. These? Yeah. I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't really like these that much. <laughs> I can um, hear you. I was talking to them, not talking to you. Okay. These, um, I'm gonna say, so this, if this is 15 and this is the GR, I'm gonna say 800. 250. 250? Yeah, they're that's honestly a so really cheap. good price. Really, really good price. Wow, that's crazy. All right, you guys, honestly, she did a pretty solid job. How are you guys doing? Let me know down below in the comment section when it comes to your guesses. Now, yes, I know these are some very expensive sneakers, but I'm telling you right now, we got three more that are even more expensive. All right, so you got the Red Unite Air Jordan 3, also known yes. as Red Cements, in your left hand, and then you got the DJ Khaled, We The Best, yep. Air Jordan 3 in the right hand. So, so look, I know this is, is super exclusive. I know all the 
The Khaled's are definitely more exclusive. And I'm gonna say that this is, and I might be, I might be crazy, but I'm gonna say it's 20. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's is that point. right? Yep, somewhere okay. around there. Yeah, that makes sense to me because I know that these are very exclusive shoes. 20,000, 20, right? Yeah, yeah, 20,000. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think about the GR releasing? I'm giving it 250. 250? It's about 300. It's okay. close. Like, it's Look, right I got to point out each of these then because that's crazy. That was, that was really close. Honestly, you're getting way more right than I thought. And Look, you're, getting you're rubbing really off close. on me. Yeah, this is, this is nice. <laughs> give her give her a applaud in the comment section. She knows her number. So you got the Bread Force classic yep. OG in your left hand. Yeah. You got the OVO fours, splatters. These are the OVOs. Yep, those OVOs okay. in your right hand. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with this one first because it's classic. I'm gonna say it's probably a little higher than a normal shoe because there's more demand for it. I'm gonna say 450. Try seven. Seven? Yeah, they just keep going up. Okay, but that makes sense to me because like, like what I just said, it's it's classic shoe. It's one of the most iconic. Yeah, one it, of the most people loved. want this shoe. Yeah, you yeah, can wear it with that anything. that makes sense. Okay, um, so what do you think about the Drake's? This one, because it's Drake, I'm gonna give it, I don't think it was as much as the Khaled's. Maybe though, I'm gonna meet in the middle. I'm gonna say, 18,000. It was about 20, 18, 20, somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, cool. Obviously, it's relative to the buyer and all those different situations. So yeah, I'll for give sure. you that one. I'll okay. say that's pretty close. But I don't get this one. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> all right, on to the final shoe Black Cement Air Jordan 3. Classic, iconic. Again, just like the Bread Force, you cannot go wrong with it. Then you got the Victory Lap Nipsey Hustle okay. Air Jordan 3. Crazy shoe. Yeah, um, these shoes are dang near identical. It's really just the bottom um, and then like the stitching. So, but because it's Nipsey, Nipsey Pass, again, RIP. Um, I'm gonna say this shoe cost, I'm gonna say this shoe cost, I don't think it's as, as high as the Khaled's and the Drake's, but maybe I could be wrong about that. Let's go with, let's go 15, 15,000. 30,000. Wow, that's crazy. I'm, I'm holding $30,000 in my hand. Well, it's like 15 because there's only one shoe. Uh, true, <laughs> true, you got me there. Okay, um, and I didn't say the price of this, right? Yeah, what do you think that one is? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 350. 350? Yeah. Oh, like 600. Dang, so these classic like colorways, like the, anything that's like. Classic. Yeah, it's, it's gonna it. be more expensive. It's always a good investment and it's always a good shoe to have in your collection if it's a classic OG colorway. And okay, model. noted, noted. noted. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. <laughs> so those were 10 different options right there. And honestly, I feel like my wife did a pretty good job. Let me know how she did down below in the comment section and how you guys did as well when it comes to the guessing. I know, yes, we could say some of these sneakers are affordable, even though they still might be five, six, seven, eight hundred bucks. But when you think relative to some of these player exclusives in those different editions, it's gonna be a lot more cheaper. So it's again, buy what you like. And if you don't wanna spend that price, it's up to you. I just wanted to give you guys a good example of some rare and exclusive options and then some more affordable options as well. If you want to see any other videos like this, let me know down below in the comment section and we'll definitely be sure to get one. Shout out to Untied. Make sure you hit the link down below and I'll have everything for their website and their Instagram and all those things for them. I'll see you guys in another one. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for dj sneakerhead academy and i'll see you guys over there in my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one one i would one never one let one you down it's in my dna one the only choice i like to make what i'm aware one today one i was made for it it's in the dna i was made for it it's